What's good everybody, it's your boy Joss out there here with Vinny Vane at Kingdom Pro Wrestling. They just, they just want to do some stuff. Welcome Vinny. Thank you man, what's happening? Arthur Marsh just uh, came up here today for the show. Here read a vlog, so if you want to talk trash, you can talk trash. Who am I going to talk trash about? Slade Mercer, facing him, him, him tonight. Yeah, what can I say? I really can't talk trash about a guy that's, you know, been overseas, had WWE tried after WWE tried. I haven't done that, so I can't talk trash. All I'm going to say is that I am going to beat him tonight and I'm going to put my bloody name on the map like I do every freaking time I go out there and wrestle. Because you should be the elite champion, mm -hmm. but they chipped you up. They did. Um, look, man, it's one of those things. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of why and how. Um, I wasn't here for the smoke show for obvious reasons, but you know, Kingdom Pro Wrestling, they know how to do business. Not only did they bring me back straight away after my suspension, they put me in the main event against their golden boy. So I think my stock speaks for itself. Hmm. Yeah. So what got you into pro wrestling? Um, I've gone on record and said this a lot. When I was a young teen, I wasn't a fan as a child per se. Um, it more developed as a teenager thing. I used to um, finish like high school sport on a Thursday and then I used to go and watch um, WWE Raw at my grandfather's house. And that was the thing that we did. That was our little thing. I didn't spend very much time with him, but it was a very influential figure in my life. And it was one of those things that I, I cherished the moment with that. And with that came enjoying the wrestling and I pursued it from there and I became a fan throughout my late teenage years to my early 20s and then I um, I um, did my degree um, I, I got a really good job a really great career going um, settled down in my personal life and then I was like I gotta start doing something for myself that I want to pursue and that's where pro wrestling came into play and I got into it and never looked back uh, if you could wrestle any former WWE uh, superstar dead or alive who would it be and why and in what kind of match look man i'm not really i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really I'm not really a mark like that i don't really have a like there's some local guys i'd like to wrestle but like dream opponent wwe mate they've all been there for a reason they're all good so i'm not my dream it's a hard one there's so many guys i'd like to wrestle chris jericho i'd like to wrestle randy orton but i really haven't given it thought so i really can't give you a definitive answer um because i don't know <laughs> Uh, what are the AWE crowds like? Is that, my last show was, I believe, the men I showed last year. Like any other crowd, man, they, you know. Um, everyone gives AWE a lot of crap. And um, look, in like some, look, man, in some instances, I get it. I don't play to the politics. Personally, I don't care what yeah. happened. I, I don't... I, I don't. It's not my place. I don't. It's not. I don't know the stories. I don't. I like. I know what are you. I know what I hear. But like, I also heard certain people go on record and say, "Oh, you know, no one should accept the booking for AWE." Like AWE have done some stupid shit, but so does every other corporation on the planet. I don't see people saying, "Oh, don't shop at you know Woolworths because or don't work for them because of blah." Like, it's a place to work. It's a job. Sammy has been good to me. Sammy trained me, and that's how I base my relationship with AWE. If you're good to me, I'm good to you. If you're not nice to me, well, I'm not going to be nice back. So, the crowd's AWE are great. He's been in operation for over 10 years now, and he doesn't pull anything less than 100, 150 a show. So, he's doing better than a lot of other feds in Sydney, let alone the rest of Australia. So, I think everyone really needs to jump off the AWE bandwagon. If they're a company, they do their thing. If you agree with it, go buy a ticket, watch the show. If you don't, go watch something else. I really yeah. don't care. I'm really good with that, um, yeah. that whole subject line, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, where can people find you on social media? Um, Instagram at Vinny underscore Vane, or my Facebook page is at Vinny Vane Wrestler, or on Twitter at Vinny underscore Vane. Well, that's it. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you, man. Pleasure. Pleasure. And we out.